Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and just before we start with the comparison of the Galaxy Note 4 and the Note 3, this is a short public service announcement. Our coverage is sponsored by Asus and Mercedes-Benz, so let's kick it off. Um, so here we have the new Note 4, which is Samsung's update to the Note 3, which we have right here. And we're just going to give you a quick, very, very quick and shallow comparison of the two devices. So as you can see, both sport the same 5.7 inch diagonal on the screen, uh, except for the fact that the screen resolution on the Note 4 has actually gone up to uh, Quad HD level. So we're 2560 by 1440 on here and Full HD on the Note 3. Um, hardware wise, we're talking about a Snapdragon 800 in here. So this clocks at 2.3 gigahertz. And this is the new uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 running at up to 2.7 gigahertz, which is quite a bit faster. Also, this is available with the Exynos 5420, and this is a 5433 and that is going to be available in here, which is an octa-core version of Samsung's Exynos SoC running four ARM Cortex-A53 cores and four ARM Cortex-A57 cores at up to 1.7, no, 1.9 GHz. Both have 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of flash storage in this case. Um, yeah, let's take a quick tour around. Again, I talked about the display already. So we have a 2 megapixel camera on, these, on the Note 3. And this is a 3.7 megapixel shooter up top right here. On the back, you get a 30 megapixel camera without optical image stabilization, I think. I can't really remember. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, and the Note 4 actually has a new optical image stabilizer integrated and sports 60 megapixels of resolution. Also. One major difference is the fingerprint, the, the heart rate sensor integrated on the back right here. Both have a single LED flash. The position of the speakers has really has changed a bit right here. So we have the Note 3 with their speaker on the back and on the bottom actually, and the Note 4 has it on the back right here. The position of the stylus is pretty much the same, except for the stylus has been a bit redone on the Note 4 since the new stylus actually has 2048 pressure sensitivity levels. levels. And yeah, let's take a quick size comparison. I'm going to put the Note 3 on top right here. And as you can see, yes, the Note 4 is a tiny bit taller actually. So it got a bit longer than the Note 4. Uh, then the Note 3, and it does seem to be a bit thinner than the old one. Uh, the position of the, whole, of, the, of the power button has really changed, it's still in the same place, and the new one for sure has this aluminum frame right here that is still being painted. So the old one is still plasticky Samsung style look. Both devices feature physical home buttons on the front, so you get the standard Android buttons in this form of the of the two buttons down here and the light up buttons down there, except for the Note 4 now has the fingerprint reader integrated into its home button. Yeah, other than that, we're talking about a 3200 milliamp hour battery on the Note 3 and the, the same 3220 milliamp hour battery on the Note 4 in this case. Yeah, so both running Android 4.4.4 on the on the Note 4 already, and the old one is still at 4.4.2 in this case. Yeah, so that's been just a very very quick and dirty look. Let me just check on the placement of the buttons on the left side. Still the same. And one major difference is that the old Note 3 actually has a USB 3.0 port on the bottom, whereas the new model only has USB 2.0 micro USB right there. So that's a bit of a difference. If you look at the back again, you can see they still sport, they both sport this leathery look right here. So this also has the same kind of leather, faux leather structure on the back right here, but it doesn't have the stitching that the Note 3 had. Um, you can, in both devices, insert a micro SD card slot and they're both available with LTE. But the difference on the new model is that they're, the Qualcomm based version is actually capable of LTE category 6 of, with the speeds of up to 300 mbits per second. So I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out the Note 3 and the Note 4 at Samsung's Ampeg number 2 in Berlin, Germany. And we'll see you later.